All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. So I just did my first playing of my drum kit. Um, I, I'm not sure, I think. Oop. Yeah, I thought I locked that in there. I kinda, oh, okay, yeah, it's, I gotta move my snare stand around. Kinda just get the right spot for this thing here, even if I bring it in a little bit more over here. I think I got my stands out way too wide, <laughs> but I want max stability. That's almost right, but it's just like, I got my snare stand in the way. Uh, so, um, the, these drums, uh, just uh, I like these heavy sixes they just. these sticks they bounce really nice you can tell this is uh, this is my weekend here so So, plus, you know, I haven't played drums in so many years. Um, the setup doesn't seem too bad. I'm sure I'm going to refine it a lot. Uh, you're probably wondering why the tom's way down here, because I only got one floor tom, and I'm thinking this one more like a floor tom. But I'm also, as I get better, I'll grab the light sticks here. Well, that's the beat sticks. I'll grab the light sticks here. As I'm doing that. You're coming down. get that quick but you can see I'm not doing any reaching so it's very easy to play so <laughs> gotta get that in the right spot the bass drum is just about perfect for me I'm starting with the heel down technique So yeah, I'm going to adjust the beater just a little bit more. It's just a little bit too far back. It's not bad, but it's a little bit too far back. And I do have the beater all the way out. So uh, yeah, it's going to take me a little while to uh, get everything like really refined and whatever. And then of course, just uh, this is like day one of playing. I've had the drum kit now for three days and, you know, I spent almost all day yesterday just kind of getting everything sort of where I wanted. I, I like that tom set up there. Yeah, it could be probably a little straighter, whatever. Bass drum's fine. Uh, my leg's completely relaxed whenever I'm not engaging the pedal. It's like it's so I'm not using any extra muscles that I don't need to be using. That's comfortable, but I don't know if it's a, a good spot. You know, it's, it's actually not that bad, really. So we can get that sucking sound there. And my timing sucks. So 
I got the angle, you got the angle adjust right there. It's not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> sticks are flying all over the place. I want to sit and play this thing all day, but uh, so I got the angle a little bit off here, offside. So uh, it should be just about right. I could go probably a little bit more. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'll go up a little bit more. get more of a I don't know if I'm quite high enough though I think I gotta go a little bit higher I, I, I just refine it it took it took me a, a little while to remember how to put one of these together uh it's it's pretty simple but uh, it's just basically felt on this side felt on that side the little wing nut and then lock it down you got two lock nuts right here and then you've got your main lock on the shaft here uh but it's I love this thing <laughs> uh one thing okay let, let's have a we'll grab the big boy stick I'm going to give you a drum angle never seen before on YouTube. The actual hand angle. That's pretty high. That, that one's a little bit out of tune. I'm going to take the drum dial to this thing after, but that's a little bit high too. Um, I mean, but listen to the thunder out of this thing. Pretty powerful sound. Uh, this is a rock. It's uh, again for those that are just tuning in. It's a uh, Mapex Armory um, and a limited edition Anaconda burst. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. It's just the videos are going to go on very long. So um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit more refinements. Obviously, got to practice. I didn't. I got to pull out the metronome. One of the first things I bought with my kit was a metronome and the drum dial. So I, I do. I'm not going to tune the drums yet because they are relatively in tune this one's a little bit out but these two these all sound good i think it's just because you know it's sitting on a shelf or whatever and maybe the skins are going to stretch a bit probably the next possible week but it seems like they went for more of a ja higher jazz tunings because i i want more than i want zeus you know i want more thunder <gasps> just fingerprints on my drum kit who did that who did that who did that it's probably me uh you know, I've been like just Googling at this thing like crazy. But uh, the layout, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to go into the layout. You know, I kind of like that Tom sort of there, believe it or not, because it, like it, it's just it, it's just a neat little flick over to it, right? And it's not too bad from there to there, and it's not too bad from there to there. So I'm trying to split the difference. Um, I'd like to have it maybe right about here, you know, get everything as close as possible. Sometimes you can get too close too, right? So it depends on the length of the stick. But my, I just want to keep my arms like really, my shoulders low and my arms relaxed. I don't want to be doing any lifting. So uh, this, I got to, yeah, play around with that. Hi-hats, I'll just... I, I got to get that sucking sound. So I think, I don't think I'm high enough because I'm not getting that, that kind of sound that you get from them. But anyway, yeah, there you go. That's the preliminaries and So I got, I get that beater just a little bit closer, not much closer, but just a little bit closer, you know, until I develop my leg muscles. Uh, Cause uh, again, like, I mean, from there though, you're listening to the throw you're getting, you know, you know, whether I bury the pedal or not, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty powerful. So I think I'm going to give up a little bit of that throw. It's, it's powerful enough, loud enough. And I'm just going to, um, you know, go more for a lighter kick, like a lighter hit, uh, but more precise, more precise and easier for me to stay in time. All right, there we go.